Hey going, I've just taken the keys to the house. We've moved in, or well, we're starting to move in. Started moving some of my gear in, and let's just have a look what it's like. The door has opened. All right, so I've set up all my gear on the ground here just for the moment. Just set it on the ground. It's not all of it. There's still more. Um, I've got to get the AV rack in. And then I can put all my bits and pieces in. But before that, I have to pull all the wires and all that through the wall. And I'll probably secure that door up a little bit more behind there in the cupboard there. And there's the door to the outside. This is like the little foyer bit again. I'm going to fit in a shelving system there, shelving rack for all the Blu-rays and bits and pieces and books. All right, so at the moment, that's my black wall and I'm still able to get a picture onto the wall. Um, well, I'll just bring that back up. I've got the Oppo 203 here. Uh, rolling with the projector just on the ground here. So there's no speakers or anything set up. And um, yeah, so that's the CinemaScope picture at the moment. I don't know what size that is. I'm, I'm, my calculations, I should be a little bit less than that. I have a feeling where them cables are. I think the screen size ends up being about here. The edge of the screen. So I'm not 100% sure, but without a tape measure. But anyway, it's gonna be a 135 inch CinemaScope screen. And that's going to be a false wall that's going to be built in there as well. So um, it'll be away from that wall a little bit. If there's a false wall and I had the um, the velvet, you know, and, and there's a bit of light, it might show through. So I think it's best practice just to have that wall black. Everything behind that screen is black as possible. So any timber I put in, I'll end up having to paint it black. Um, speaking of black, the ceiling's painted black and the um, the lights have gone in the grills have been painted I painted the grills and I've got the speakers so I've got four more of these speakers uh, without the cabinets they're going to go up into the, the ceiling and then I'll probably put a similar sort of back box in the ceiling um, in the roof space there so to contain the sound a little bit and I think it helps as well. The speaker sound a little bit better. I'm not sure, but I believe it. It should do as long as it's not too small, the volume. All right. So anyway, so that's it. Sort of just, yeah, demoing it out. And, you know, there's little things still to come, you know, things like this. I've got this Harmony, Harmony Elite. You know, I've got to unbox that. And just see see how it works with this with my system and then what we're also doing as well is this rack is not just controlling here it's going to control the tv that's out in this room as well so i'm going to mount tv onto this wall here and um yeah so two places for audio visual and i'll be able to send a signal either way and I think there'll be two AVRs as well. I've got one just at the moment, but I'll probably just get a second simple, you know, 5.1 AVR. Something simple, just send signal out there because really that's just for TV and sport at the worst case scenario, you know. So nothing special. Anything that's movie or 4K or gaming is going to be in here. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and um, I think I've already said this, but yeah, thanks to my subscribers, and thanks to people that are subscribing from Germany. I'm getting a lot of subscribers from Germany. Maybe they can't understand me. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh, what's what's some German words? Um, guten Morgen, guten Abend, um, das funktioniert nicht. I think that means, you know, it doesn't function, I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's all I know, really. <laughs> oh, ich... Ich liebe dich, I think. I think that means I love you. So I love I love my subscribers. <laughs> All right. Ich liebe dich, subscriber. All right.